What's good, YouTube? Blaze Shadowthorn here, coming back at you with a uh, GBA battle, sort of. This is gonna be my team analysis for the GBA. Uh, I've dropped hints here and there that I might be joining one. I did join one, but uh, stuff has been delayed and stuff, so they re they restarted the league. In other words, so um, I have over on the word processing document. This is gonna be my team right here. This is my uh, opponent for week one's team. And uh, that that disappeared right there, that both of them disappeared right there, this is going to be the team that I'm going to be bringing to the GBA. So I'm going to explain a little bit first on why I chose the Pokemon that I chose. So first off, you're going to take a look at my roster. We have Tentacruel, Maractus, Selby, Drapion, Garchomp, Florges, Jinx, Jolteon, Braviary, and then a Mega Metagross. I was very fortunate to snag a Mega Metagross because Mega Metagross is a huge threat in the, uh, in the current meta. As you can see, I brought a lot of semi-bulky things, Tentacruel, Drapion, Florges, Celebi, even Garchomp, sometimes even Braviary can all be considered very bulky things, but they also can be very offensive as well. Tentacruel has um, 80, 70 attack, 80 special attack, as you um, might be aware. Also, that hun nice 100 base speed. Uh, Drapion, as you all know, uh, can be very well offensive. Garchomp can obviously be offensive, and Floor just has a decent special attack, so it can definitely be very viable uh, offensive. So I really enjoy that, and then of course LB uh, has a nice 100 stats all around. So I really like that, where some of the things, they can be walls if they need to be, but they also can be offensive, so this could be a very defensive team, this could also be a very hyper offensive team. Looking at threats, directly with my opponent i'm seeing that bisharp is definitely going to be a threat mega metagross is definitely going to be a threat um gliscord slow king core could be a problem mandibuzz could be a problem diggersby could be a problem a lot of things could be problems but they aren't problems yet um so uh looking at my team this is what i decided to bring and i'll sort of run through what they're there for bring decided to bring a focus sashed garchomp because focus sashed garchomp it can live a hit from uh Mega Metagross is Hidden Power Ice. Uh, I think it can live one regardless, but just on the off chance it can't, it gets like a crit or something. Um, I can knock it out with an Earthquake. It also is my Stealth Rocker, so it could be a lead Garchomp as well. And it handles the majority of its team. It can handle the Bisharp kind of if, my, if, if its Focus Ash is intact. I know it can take one hit regardless if it's at high enough range of HP. Uh, it can kind of handle the Slow King. It can handle the, um, it can handle the Embor if he wants to bring it. Um, it can handle the Empoleon uh, again with its Focus Ash intact, uh, assuming it has Ice Beam and stuff like that. And then also can kind of handle the Gardevoir because it does outspeed and it packs that Iron Head. So if it's out of Revenge Killable range, I can definitely use that to my advantage. I have Annabelle, my specially defensive floor. Just I did decide to bring a specially defensive floor just for two reasons. One, because I'm really fearing that Mega, Min uh, Mega Minetric. I really didn't want to have that thing running around. And two... Uh, on the off chance he wanted to bring, I, it's pretty much there for the Mega Metagross, or Mega Metric, because his team's very hyper offensive, uh, like physically offensive, there's not a lot of special things. I suppose if he brought that Gardevoir, it'd be nice to have for that as well, but I'm not entirely sure, looking at my team, he'd bring that. Uh, I have G-Stitch, um, Earth Plate, Hidden Power Ground, uh, Jolteon, uh, Jolte uh, Jolteon's there is a, another Mega Metagross, uh, Metric. I don't know why I keep on saying Metagross, Mega Metric counter. As well as having Shadow Ball there for that um, that Gly score and that Gardevoir if he wants to bring it because I do not have Hidden Power Ice. I'm banking on him, hoping that I have Hidden Power Ice, and therefore thinking uh, that Mega Manetric can uh, hit it up with Flamethrower. But I have the Earth Power boosted Hidden Power Ground, so that should be doing something. We have a Scarf Selby with Earth Power again to outspeed uh, the Mega Manetric. I have a lot of things to handle Mega Manetric. I'm scared to shit of this thing. Um, also, the Selby can handle the Slow King if he wants to bring that. If he wants to bring in uh, the Embor, it can handle that as well as the Empoleon. So, uh, def and uh, even the Diggersby as well because uh, it outspeeds Choice Scarf Diggersby. hits it up with a uh, Leaf Storm. It's not going to appreciate that at all. We have a physically defensive Drapion. Actually, I am bringing a physically defensive Drapion because I'm scared to shit of that... Um, that Bisharp. I don't want that Bisharp running around amok, so uh, I don't have a poison stab for that Gardevoir, but I feel like I have um, Garchomp. I also have that um, Annabelle, the uh, uh, Florgis for the uh, Gardevoir, so I'm not really doing that too much as a threat. Toxic Spikes on the off chance if he doesn't bring uh, the Mandibuzz, uh, getting poison off on everything would be very nice. And uh, EQ to handle that Bisharp is physically defensive, so it can't really touch it that otherwise. And finally, I did decide to bring my Mega Metagross. It's the Explosion set. I wasn't really going to bring it, but then I saw his few, last few picks, and I decided that 
I saw his last few picks. Sorry there, I had to pause for a moment. But uh, I saw his last few picks in both Viaplume and Embor are weak to its uh, psychic attacks. So uh, I really wanted to bring it. Plus, I mean, the only thing that really stops Hardness tracks is... Um, I think he can live a flamethrower from Mega uh, Metric as well. Maybe not an overheat, but uh, it shuts down the Glyscore. It shuts down the Gardevoir. It shuts down the Mandibuzz. It shuts down Empoleon, Diggers B. Uh, can't really touch Slowking too well, but I have Explosion for that, and Bore Viaplume. So it does check a majority of his team, so I figured it was worth bringing. So uh, that's my team. That's sort of the, uh, the team preview uh, sort of thing mentality. That's why I built my team around. Um, so yeah, oh, that's going to be it, for, I guess, for the team analysis, team preview. Really short. I actually expected it to be a lot longer than this, so... Uh, that's it. Uh, hopefully you enjoy the Wi-Fi battle, and um, obviously I'm not going to have it right now. Hopefully it's scheduled for like an hour, I think, but uh, you won't notice that one bit. So thank you all for watching the team preview of sorts, and I'll uh, see you in the Wi-Fi battle. Bye. So what's good, YouTube? Play Shadow Thorn here. We are here with the first match at the GBA. So we're going to take a look at our opponent's team. We're going to see what Pokemon he decided to bring, if uh, my predictions are correct or not. And uh, it was correct, actually. He did bring the Bisharp. He did bring the Mega uh, Mega Manetric, which were the two things I've been really worried about. He did not bring the Gliscor, which I thought was really interesting, but he did bring um, Slow King, Vile Plume, and the Amanda Buzz for some Defog action. He also has that Digger's B, which is most likely Scarfed. So, <clears throat> Rock's not going to be that big of a use for my team. I feel like he's going to be leading off with that, um, Mandibus or the Diggers B. Either way, I do feel like leading off with the, uh, the Beastly Gibble, the Garchomp. Because I feel like that's my best lead at this point in time, because uh, Dragon Claw hits everything. Dragon Claw Earthquake combination hits everything pretty hard. <clears throat> I mean, except for that Mandibus, but I do have a... A switch for the Mandibuzz, uh, and Mandibuzz isn't really a problem, I don't think. It's just bulky with the Roost, Defog, probably Foul Play, maybe. Uh, I don't think he'll have a Fine Stab, not going to carry Brave Bird, but, I mean, even if he did, it's not going to be doing too much damage to me, so. Uh, I really do feel like he's going to be leading off either with the, um, the Mega Manetric or the, uh, the Diggers V, which I'm fine with either lead, to be honest. Maybe I'll lead off with the Bishar, but I doubt that. Um, so we're just going to wait for a time to run out, which uh, is fine by me. Just going to wait till pretty much the last second to pick his Pokemon, but that's all right. It doesn't really matter too much. So let's get right on into this battle. And uh, it's a very interesting team, kind of bulky-ish uh, with three walls, three uh, offensive creatures. Uh, creatures, but anyways, going to lead off the Garchomp as he leads off with Westbrook. The, uh, the Manitra trick, there it is. He has that Mandibuzz, which is flying, so I kind of want to go for a Dragon Claw predicting that. But do I want to make the play right off the bat, though? That's the question. I do, actually. I want to go for a Dragon Claw. I don't think he'll stay in. I really don't feel like he'll stay in. He'll risk losing his Mega to an EQ right off the bat. <clears throat> I mean, he could he could theoretically stay in Ice Beam me, but uh, most Garchomp's lead like this are Scarfed. I do want to play off the assumption that I am Choice Scarfed. That would be uh, very nice for me to have. So uh, he does withdraw. As he says, good luck, have fun. Uh, and he goes out into the uh, the Mana Buzz. Yeah, nice and predicted. We'll see if that thing's physically or specially defensive. That looks physically. That is definitely physically defensive, which means that's specially defensive sloking, which means I don't know what that vibe flu is. Could be a mixture. But uh, I don't want to stay in here. I want to preserve the uh, assumption that I am going to be uh, s scarfed. What do I want to go out into though? I could go out into G Stitch. I could. Dark Hits actually hits everything on my team pretty hard. Except for the Shadow Thorn. Actually, I know I'm going to go out into Annabelle. Because uh, I want to do an offensive pivot switch. Because I really don't feel like he could do much of anything to me. Maybe Foul Play. Uh, that's his best play, to be completely honest. And uh, Moonblast hits everything on his team except that Vile Plume pretty hard. And uh, if he does pull a switch out into the Vile Plume, I have uh, answers for that, I think. Anyways, I think. Once I get rid of that Mandibuzz, though, he has no ground resists. Because uh, Silking can't take an EQ. Uh, Bisharp can't take an EQ. Me Mega Manetric can't take an EQ. Uh, Vileplume, defending on its spread, could. And uh, Diggersby really can't either. So, 
uh, that's definitely really good. So I've got to get rid of this man buzz, definitely. So going out in Annabelle, making an offensive pivot switch. Uh, maybe he'll pull a double. I want to see what he'll do, to be completely honest. There's just foul play. All right. <clears throat> I was correct. The standard defensive set. Uh, not really too much of a threat. Just bulky that i got to worry about, which uh, I'm not really too worried about it. So going to get some leftovers. <clears throat> recovery. As uh, we trade, not really trade leftovers, but we go, both get some leftovers recovery. I want to go for a toxic, but at the same time, actually, you know what? Really offensive, but uh, I do want to make that play. I'm going to double out into my Metagross, predicting the switch out into Vileplume, predicting me to go for a um, a Moonblast. As uh, I predict that correctly, there is the uh, Weezing, or not the, <laughs> that's Wheezy, but uh, there is the, um, the Vileplume. <clears throat> the only thing I'm really possibly scared of is the possible effect spore. And uh, I do not want the effect spore to happen. I'm just going to Zen Headbutt at this point in time. I really don't want to predict him to go back out into the mana bus because I feel at this point in time I predicted him twice rather nicely. He might predict me to over predict right here, stay in and take the Meteor Mash. Even if he does switch out into the mana bus, it's really not that big of a deal because I can just double back out into Annabelle, no sweat, no problem. So, And I want to get rid of this. Weeze, uh, Weezy, this Vileplume really quickly because I know uh, Vileplume could be a problem, especially sub uh, Leech Seed um, with Giga Drain. It's definitely an issue that I don't want to deal with. But uh, Metagross kind of does shut it down a little bit unless I get put to sleep with his Effect Spore, which I'm not entirely sure what uh, what Vileplume said. I don't even. Ah, uh, he does pull switch. Unfortunate. Really unfortunate. Let's see the Mandibuzz. No, he goes out into David. What's David? Oh, Slow King. Uh, I suppose that's fair. I do suppose that is fair. Um, that kind of shuts me down a little bit. I mean, if I had a... Uh, not nah, even if I... Yeah, so Zen Headbutt. <clears throat> just... That'll probably do a little bit of damage, though. Yeah, I did not that bad damage. Quarter-ish HP roll, so... What is he going to go for? Probably Scald, maybe. Uh, I kind of want to go out into Selby. So I'll go out into Selby. Offensive pivot switch. It'll be good for me. I don't have U-turn on this thing though. That sucks. Would love to have U-turn on that thing. That actually, that would actually be pretty amazing though, to be completely honest. Because uh, I don't want to go for a psychic, lock myself into psychic, and have him go out into the mandibuzz. Actually, he might go out into the mandibuzz regardless, because mandibuzz will shut me down. So I might predict that double out into Jolteon, and uh, see what it'll do from there. Because that might actually be bad play. But anyways, I do feel like a Scald aura is coming my way. He has no reason not to Scald, because Scald will hit everything on my team except for, for the Selby pretty hard. <clears throat> so, mm, he's thinking about this. He's thinking long and hard about this. Because uh, he told me ahead of time that he was scared of my sets, because um, I do run a lot of unique sets. Not so much for this game, just because um, there was a lot of things that uh, I needed to run semi-standard to deal with some of his threats, but uh, we'll see what he does. Go on to the Selby. As a, he actually makes uh, play goes for Shadow Ball. It's offensive, Slow King. This is an offensive Slow King that did way too much damage. He gets a spe the special defense drop as well. That might actually be Specs damage. That might actually be Specs damage. So uh, I'm going to I'm gonna double out the G-Stitch. <clears throat> I'm going to do it. Double out the G-Stitch. It's my best play because uh, I can't take another Psychic. Or, no, I can't take another Shadow Ball because of a special defense drop. I outspeed this thing, and uh, he might be fear, like, threatened out by the Selby. Switch out into Mandibuzz to take either the uh, Earth or Grass or Psychic Attack, which I most inevitably carry. So, other than that, uh, I feel like I'm in a good position right now. We're still 6 6. Um, Selby is kind of weakened, but I really don't need him for anything on his team. Like, I legitimately do not need this uh, Selby whatsoever, because Bisharp kills it, Mega Manetric kills it, uh, Vileplume kind of walls it. And then I kind of need it for a little bit for the Vileplume. Uh, Mandibuzz completely shuts it down. And I mean, it'd be nice for the Diggers, because um, Modest uh, Leaf Storm will be doing a nice damage, and uh, Psychic on the Vileplume will be doing a good damage. And if I can get a free Earth Power off on the Mega Manetric, that'd be nice too. Because I am a Scarfed variant, so I'm going to go out into G-Stitch. As uh, he actually pulls a double as well. Let's see the Mana Buzz. As uh, there's the Mana Buzz. Nice, nice, very nice. Very, very, very nice. 
I want to make the plays going to go on the Midnight Trick, predicting my Volt Switch. That is incredibly obvious. So I'm gonna I'm gonna reveal the uh, the uh, Hidden Power Ground right about now. Because if I can get damage off on this Mega Midnight Trick, that'd be amazing. I mean, uh, he won't expect Hidden Power Ground. No one ever does. Uh, so he'll think I have Hidden Power Ice, maybe a Shadow Ball or two, or hit it. So Volt Switch is incredibly obvious. Because Volt Switch will give me the most momentum. He might actually go on to the Diggers V, actually, and save his Mega Mana Trick. Actually, that would not be a bad play as well, going out into Diggers V. It's either Diggers V or Mega Mana Trick. Even if he wants to make the offensive play, he'll go out to Mega Mana Trick. If he wants to make the more defensive play, he'll go out into Diggers V. As he goes out into Westbrook. Yes! Yes! Let's go! Ground, our Earth Plate boosted, a Hidden Power Ground. That does nice, solid damage. That does nice solid damage. I'm happy. I'm incredibly happy. Can I knock this thing out right now? Please stay in. Please stay in. I'm begging you. Please stay in. Nah, there it is. That sucks. He's going to go out into Mad Buzz. Now he goes out into the Bisharp. Oh, you do not know what hidden power I am. He doesn't know what hidden power I am. That's great. Earth played um, Jolteon. Unfortunately, I'm not modest. So I do not have the power that uh, I need. But uh, still, I'm fast. I am fast. Cause he has to suck a punch here. Because I have to beat him regardless. I have to beat him even if I'm modest, but still. Probably should have ran modest to be completely honest, but timid. I wanted to have speed on my side. So I have to beat everything on his team. But still, I got damage off on the two biggest threats on his team, which is Bisharp and uh, Mega Manetric. So I'm definitely happy with G-Stitch. <clears throat> Hidden Power Ground. Uh, I mean, the only thing I was kind of fearing was uh, if he brought the Glide score, I wouldn't have anything to hit it with that because I didn't bring Jinx either. Uh, and Jinx and Hidden Power, Ice, Jolteon were really the only two things I could have to handle that thing. So I might actually gen, um, uh, there's a switch out into, man, no, he goes out into David, actually. I should have ult switched there, to be completely honest. To be completely honest, I should have ult switched, there was no legitimate reason for me not to. I'm actually tempted to ult switch right here, but I feel like he could switch out into the Mega Manager. Actually, you know what, I don't see any reason not to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ult switch right here. Actually. Without, that could actually play on the fact, he might actually think I'm choiced. He might actually think I'm choiced. Do I break the bluff right here that I'm choiced? Not choiced? Uh, I'm, what would he go for though? I'm trying to think of what move he wants to go for. He showed him a shadow ball last, so I'm gonna go out into Annabelle, I think. I think I'm gonna go out into Annabelle, so. <clears throat> I'm gonna click that Volt Switch button, break the bluff that I'm not in fact choiced. <clears throat> I don't think he'll go out into Diggers B, I don't think he'll go back out into his Mega Manetric because, uh, I just showed him in power ground, and he knows it's in power ground too, because he went out into Bisharp. I'm not sure if that was a misclick or not, but anyways, he obviously knows it's in power ground. He just doesn't know if I'm choice or not, which I'm not. I'm actually the earth plate, which is why I did so much damage, because I'm also timid. That was modest. I might have actually killed. Nah, I wouldn't have killed the Mega Manetric. I actually might kill that, but uh, I'm correct. He stays in, takes the Volt Switch really, really nicely. Should have actually went for the Thunderbolt and stayed and see what he wanted to go for, but <clears throat> it matters not. Uh, oh, actually, I have Wish on this. I have Wish on Annabelle, so I can pop, I'll try and pass the Wish to um, Celebi later. Uh, what is he going to go for, though? Scald? Let's scout for the Scald. Let's scout for the Scald. If he doesn't have Scald, then I'm going to go out into Drapion, try and get a knockoff on something. Uh, there's the Scald. All right, there's the Scald. That was fair. I really... Uh, it's all right if he burns me. He doesn't burn me. Uh, is that a salt vest? Maybe that could be a salt vest. Actually, that's not a bad idea. So him being a salt vest, yeah, it's, it's definitely a salt vest. Definitely a salt vest. He wants to go out into his uh, bio plume right about now, but he also might not want to, to be completely honest, because I switch out was kind of obvious. So I actually want to protect right here. I'm gonna protect and scout to see what he wants to do. If he wants to switch, that'll also give me fine. Cause uh, actually, no, nah, I think I think it's a free spore. Actually, so that might not have been the best play. To be completely honest, because if he does pull a switch out into the via plume, it's both good and bad. If he does pull the switch out into the via plume, he gets a free sleep powder off on anything he wants to. Uh, but if I was correct and he stays in and scalds, that's good for me. He might actually want to slack off here. To be completely honest, he's probably gonna slack off right over here. So this was completely useless. Actually, wait, no, if he's he's Psy shock. That's interesting. That is really interesting. Actually, wait, no, he's a self He doesn't have to slack off. Oh, I'm good. Um, he showed me Psy Shock, Shadow Ball, <coughs> Scald. Uh, I'm going to go back out into G-Sitch. I can take a Psy Shock. 
I can take a Scald. I can take a Shadow Ball, even. Uh, I wonder what his last move is. Probably Ice Beam. Thinking it's Ice Beam. That's what I would run, anyways, for an Assault Fist set. Maybe even Fire Blast. I don't know, because I could just remember it's looking like Fire Blast. So, uh, he is going to go for the Psy Shock again. Really risky. I thought he'd definitely go for Scald. That did damage, though. That definitely did a lot of damage. Um, I'm a Shadow Ball here. Shadow Ball my kill. I actually kind of need G-Stitch. Not really. Don't need it at all, to be completely honest. I just need damage off on the Slowbro. I need damage off on the Slowbro, so I know he has Regenerator. He has to have Regenerator, or else he has no way of recovering HP back. So I know he has um, Regenerator. I just need to pressure him to uh, switch out. That's all I need is pressure for him to switch out, so... Uh, Shadow Ball hits everything on his team except for that Mandibuzz, which he won't bring in. Not on a potential Volt Switch. I really feel like he's going to pull out into his uh, Mega Manetric, but at the same time, I did show him Hidden Power Ground, and I did predict him, so he might want to stay in here, see what move he wants to go for, possibly sack off David. Um, actually, he does switch out. I was about to say, maybe I outspeed this thing. Can you see, goes out into Bugs Bunny, the uh, Diggersby. Oh, that is actually not bad. He's going to be the Shadow Ball. Good play. Definitely a good play, sir. I can applaud that play. Definitely. <sighs> that sucks. I have no ground resistance. I just realized ground is a bit of a problem to me. Half my team super effective. I have no resist to this thing. I want to keep my focus dash intact. Um, do I want the 6-0, though? That's the question. Do I want the 6-0? I don't, actually. I don't need the 6-0. Uh, do I need the... Jolteon for anything. Uh, no, I don't actually. I'm gonna get damage off of this thing. I wanna see if this thing's scarfed or not. It is scarfed. Good information to know. Let's actually make a note of that right about here. This thing is scarfed. Actually, let's start making notes. Um, this is AV. Um, Scarf Diggersby is actually something of a problem. I'm gonna bring out my Selby. Uh, I actually want a healing wish out into something, but nothing on my team can get healing wished out into. That's the question. That's the problem. Uh, I am just going to leaf storm. All right here. Hopefully he doesn't realize I'm scarf. Although me bringing it in kind of like scream scarf right about now because I did just see he was scarfed. He outspeed me. Maybe he might think it's a misplay, but nah. There it is. The switch. He's gonna go on to man bus. Yeah, there's the man bus. Oh, I missed Leaf Storm anyways. Wow, alright. That's cool. Didn't even need to switch. Um, I want to save this though, definitely. Uh, go out into Beastly Gibble. Actually, you know what I should have done? I shouldn't have sacked uh, G-Stitch right there. I should have went out into Gibble. Cause Gibble could probably have taken two EQs. Wait, why did I go out into Gibble on this thing? He's going to foul play me, aren't he? No, he goes for a Toxic instead, actually. Alright, that's fine. I don't mind Gibble getting Toxic. But uh, that was really bad. Actually, wow, that was an incredibly bad play. Because uh, I can't touch this thing. Actually, I might want to get on my rocks right about now. Actually, I do want to get on my rocks right about now. I want to get on my rocks. Because um, I want to pressure him to defog. I want to see if he has defog, first off. And uh, if I can get damage off on that Mega Manetric upon re-entry, that'd be great. And also, I can Healing Wish and uh, recover my stash. As uh, he roosts, actually predicting me to attack. I want to, I want to scout for the, um, the defog. So, gonna. I have nothing to handle this thing. Actually, this 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 man of us is a problem. This man of us is a huge problem. Um, yeah, I'll go on the shadow throne. Actually, oh, this man of us is a problem. I have nothing to handle it properly. I really shouldn't have sacked off Stitch right there. G Stitch. I needed it actually. There's the defog. Oh, this just battle just got really stally. <sighs> All right, let's knock off. He might switch. He might switch. I don't like this at all. I just lost a lot of momentum. I just lost like a bunch of momentum. This battle's gonna be insanely long. Ugh. Ugh, I'm not liking this. I'm just... Uh, I feel like I'm going to get bored really soon. And I'm just going to start making bad plays and just end up getting 6-0 just because I'm bored. So uh, I get a crit there. Crit was completely useless. As he's going to follow a play that's going to do absolutely nothing to me. Um, 
I want to get up a layer of Toxic Spikes, actually. I'll have to switch out. Show me the switch out into um, Diggersby, actually. I, do I even have a Levitating Pokemon on my roster? I don't even know my whole... Uh, I do I have Braviary. Should have brought Braviary, to be completely honest, because I didn't realize how weak my team was to ground until right about now. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Um, so, yeah, I get up a layer of Toxic Spikes. Hopefully I can roar him out into the Slow King or the Mega Metric and get damage off on that thing. But if I roar him out into the Vile Plume, I'm going to be so upset because, obviously, it's just useless. But I really want, I think he's going to switch out into Diggersby here. I know I can take one, but I don't want to... I want to keep a Shadow Thorn and a healthy range of HP for the Bisharp as well, so... I just switch out. He actually goes out into the Bisharp. I don't get the play, actually. If I can knock out this Bisharp, that'd be fantastic. Maybe he doesn't realize that. Maybe he's just going to go for a knockoff. I don't... I don't agree with that play, sir. I don't get that play, actually. So I'm just going to EQ. If I can knock out this Bisharp, I'm gonna be fantastic. I'm gonna be happy because this I've legitimately only brought this defensive Drapion just to handle Bisharp because I knew he was gonna bring it. So if I can knock this thing out, then Shadowthorn's literally done its only job, and I can use it to focus on uh, Mega Manetric and the Slow King, and see if I can whittle those two Pokemon down as well. Because I only need Shadowthorn to be the healthy range of HP for the Bisharp, because I really fear the priority Sucker Punch, the Knock Off, Iron Head combination could detrimentally damage my team, because Bisharp's a huge threat. So, I'm actually really happy he brought that in. Hopefully he stays in. I don't know why I brought it in, though. I honestly have no idea why I brought it in. Because, like, what does he even think he can do? Like, Iron Head me? If he flinches me, I'll get I'm, I'll be upset. Which, he's probably going to go for Iron Head now that I think about it. Because Bishop doesn't have access to ground moves. And uh, that's really the only thing that's super effective against me. I outspeed it regardless. Sweet. All right. Let's go. Knocking out the threat that is the Bishop. And uh, I do actually have to keep uh, my score tally, so let me just type in Drapion, one kill. <clears throat> Even defensive Drapion can handle it. I don't know why he brought that in there, to be completely honest. Maybe he didn't expect me to have EQ. If he did, if I didn't have EQ and only had knockoff, that actually would have been a safe play. Kind of. A little bit. But not really. I don't understand it, but, you know, whatever. I'm not complaining. Drapion, you did your job, so... Now, if you brought in the Mega Manetric, that would just be like... Hallelujah, God, praise Lord Jesus. I don't know. But if he brought it in, it'd be the Volt Switch off, so mm, never really mind. Oh, I need to get rid of that Mandibus. I don't know how that Mandibus is turning out to be a major problem. I didn't really think it was going to be a problem, uh, but it is. It really is. And the Diggers be. No, the Diggers be more. The Diggers be is more of a problem. So long as I get a clean switch into my. Like, if I get rid of the Mandibus and I get rid of that uh, Vile Plume. Like his team's actually kind of is his team's really bulky and I don't like bulky things, cause bulky things make me tired. Like legitimately, whenever I play a team that's really bulky, I I lose focus, cause uh, I that that's just how I play though. Like my play style, if people if like I play a game for a long period of time, like I, I'm really good. I'm in the zone. I make the pull the plays like I did in the beginning, and I just lose focus. I get distracted. I say. Hey, look, it's uh, 8.24 at night, and um, yeah, cool. Brings out David. I do not understand that play at all, sir, but I'm happy. I'm happy with it, because uh, I can just knock off right here. Knock off your assault vest. You won't be taking hits nearly as well. And uh, if you burn me, okay, cool. Oh, that did a lot of damage. I'm not even invested. Please don't burn me. Please, please don't burn me. Please don't burn me. Thank you for not burning me. Actually, that is really surprising. So, um, poison won't kill him, unfortunately, but it'll bring him really close to death. Um, he is going to switch. I can tell. He's not going to stay in here and sack off his um, slow king like this. So I'm going to whirlwind, predicting the switch. Because I want to poison something else on his team. I want to poison that Mega Manetric, actually. That'd be god if I could poison that Mega Manetric. Because uh, that, uh, actually, he might actually stay in. If he stays in, ooh, that'd be unfortunate. That'd be really bad if he stayed in. I don't think he'll stay in, though. But at the same time, David is really close to death, so he might actually want to sack it and get damage off on Shadowthorn. 
as he does want to stay in here and get damage off on Shadowthorn. I just literally, I just saved his, um, I just saved his, uh, Slowbro, or Slowking. But I do ro roar him out into the Mega Manetric, which is amazing. So I'm able to get damage off on that thing. Um, but the thing is here, do I want to save Shadowthorn? No, I don't. It can die. It can die. Wish I had Protect on this thing, though, to be completely honest. Um, actually, what is he going to do? Is he going to Volt Switch? Do I want to make the play that he's going to Volt Switch? I don't see him. I don't see a reason for him to hit Power Ice. I don't see a reason for him to hit Power. Uh, if he hit Power Ices, I'm screwed. Cause I actually, I don't need my Garchomp. I don't need my Garchomp. Garchomp is legitimately useless in this game because, uh, as he actually withdraws, and he goes out into Easy, which is the Vile Plume to get rid of the Toxic Spikes. Which it doesn't even matter at this point in time because uh, Mandibuzz doesn't affect it and Digger's Beast at full HP and it's scarfed anyway, so I don't really need it because uh, I can live with the Switch actually. I can live with this um, this sort of uh, this setup. I'm gonna get my rocks again because I want uh, I want entry hazards. Uh, rocks is that rocks will kill the Manetric and. Uh, if he doesn't switch Mandibuzz in directly right now, which he might, he probably will actually. If he doesn't though, that Mandibuzz will take 25% of HP, which I'm, I'll be happy with. Really wish I hadn't let G-Stitch die so early, because G-Stitch is definitely going to help me out. But um, the Mega Manetric is really uh, weak, so is uh, Slowbro just recovered one third of his HP. So he does stay in. What does he want? What is he going to do? What is he going to do? Aromatherapy, no. Oh no, that means the Mega Manetric's not gonna die. Well, I mean, if I can keep rocks up. If I can keep rocks up, it will. It will die. So he's gonna go out into the Man Buzz to get rid of them ASAP. He has to. He has to get rid of them. Uh, so. Um, I'm actually gonna run a Calc. Actually, so I'll uh, BRB. One minute. Alright, I'm gonna switch out to Mega Metagross. Because I feel like he's gonna go out and do the Mana Buzz. Because it's his only play, it's Defog. Which is good for me because I'll I'll be able to uh, threaten him out with a uh, a Meteor Mashor. As uh, he goes out into the Mana Buzz, get the nice chip damage off. <sighs> if he Defogs, this will put him in range of uh, Meteor Mash to a KO, and so I'm happy with that. Of course, if I miss, I'm going to be upset. Hopefully, I get an attack raise. If I get the attack raise, I'll be golden. This also puts him in range of my uh, Bolt Punch. So, I just need the attack raise. I don't even need the attack raise. He goes for the foul play instead. Excellent. That is a 2 KO. What? That's a crit. That's not a crit. I have to run a calc on that. BRB. Honestly, I have no idea because uh, my calc says it would do 93% uh, max. That did way more than 93%. I am living on way less than that. I am not at 7% of my HP. But it doesn't matter because I am able to kill off stones, which is amazing and great. And I do get the attack raise, which is fan-freaking-tastic. So let us mark that down. Mega, meta, gross, one. Mandibuzz, dead. Uh, that Scarf Diggers V is a problem, though. He's probably going to bring that in. Definitely going to bring in that Scarf Metagross. <laughs> or, or Scarf Diggers V is to revenge kill me. Yeah, there it is. I actually want to run another Calic. And to see if I can kill this thing. All right, unfortunately, it's gonna be a two KO. Um, I need. Actually, wait. I have Selby with Healing Wish. Yes, I'm saved. Hallelujah, Mother of Pearls. I alrighty. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sack off Drapion. Um, to this EQ. Oh, he quick attacks. That is interesting. I think scarfed, which means I gotta run a calc. BRB. Alrighty, if my calc is correct. Oh, uh, actually, what is he gonna do? Is he gonna stay? Is he gonna wanna stay in and. Uh, quick attack can't kill me. What is he gonna wanna do, though? I don't know. I'm gonna healing wish regardless. I'm scared. I need my Mega Metagross at full HP. <laughs> 
I need it at full HP. So he is going to withdraw. He's going to go onto the Vileplume. Probably. No, he goes out into the Mega Manetric to sack that thing off. Sweet. So uh, I actually don't know what to count that as. I mean, do I count that as Garchomp's kill? Because um, I got the... Uh, because I got... I don't even know what to count that kill as. Uh, so I'm going to put Stealth Rocks KO. <laughs> so uh, anyways, I can either bring in... And uh, I can clear Mega Manetric off the board. What do I even want to heal up, though, to be completely honest? Mega Metagross? Mega Metagross or Garchomp? Mega Metagross or Garchomp? Mega Metagross, definitely. As a, he's going to bring back in bugs. I'm going to run a calc. EQ does not have a 100% chance to Oko me, but it has a pretty high chance. Um... I actually want to kill another thing really quickly. I do apologize for all the pausing, but this is going to come to literally down to the wire, so I do need to make sure my kill. Alright, I think I'm on this game. Maybe. Maybe won this game. I mean, it's literally going to come down to the wire, so I'm going to. My goal right now is to sack off Annabelle to whatever move he wants to go for. I want to see what he wants to go for. He's going to go for an EQ. Okay, that's great. I might actually be able to live this. Nope. I'm going off the assumption that he's Adamant Scarf. So it all comes down to a roll, pretty much. That's what's going to decide this. I don't like... Actually, f if he switches, I lose. My only goal, my only way of winning is if he stays in. That's legitimately the only way I win. Because if he switches right here, I'm, I screw it. I lose. Actually, screw it. I lose. No, oh, I, can't, I can't win. I mean, it's a roll at this point in time. But, yep, I lose, actually. Um... Because I needed to be at a high range of HP for the uh, to live in EQ, and um, actually, wait, no, I haven't lost yet. The only way I win is if uh, I get a crit. I need a crit, uh, bullet punch. Maybe if I was actually, if I was adamant, no, still I would have lost. He's gonna bring out Vibe right now. Actually, if I get an explosion off, but no, I can't live. Well, actually, I do have a sh chance to live. I have, like, a 3% chance, 7% chance to live. He needs to score the minest damage roll he possibly could ever score, and I, li and I live. So, like, Earthquake does, like, 99.3% chance on a min roll. So, uh, yep, there it is. I don't know how much HP I'm at. I really should have healed up Gibble, and uh, I shouldn't have healed up... Uh, my mistake was actually healing up Metagross, because Metagross lose me, loses me the game. Uh, I think I live, but again, it's on a min roll. Um, I don't... Actually, what's half of that? That's 4, 5, 90... Uh, I think that I'm around 60%. I look at around 60%, so I lose regardless because of Toxic. I should've healed up Gibble. If I would've healed up Gibble, I think I might've won. But regardless, I'm gonna switch out, go out into uh, Metagross on Spore, probably, maybe. I don't know what he wants to go for. He is actually going to pull the switch out into Bugs. Are you kidding me? If I would've stayed in and EQ'd, I would've won the game. Are you kidding me? Are you absolutely flipping kidding me? I am upset now. I'm going to go cry in a corner. BRB crying. If I would have just stayed in an EQ, I would have won the game. <sighs> so all I got to do is hope for a crit right here. A crit is the only way I win. I don't even know if a crit will kill him. No. Um, call min damage. Min damage. I've never wanted to win hope for min damage. But I actually... Yeah. Are you kidding me? I think I actually just got min damage. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I actually did not expect that to happen. I think he got max damage though on uh, one roll, so I guess it's only fair. So I legitimately need, uh, I don't know if, a, I think I, a bull punch kills at this range, so. <sighs> Let me think. Um. 
Unless I get a roll right here. No, I don't. Oh, God, that was close. That was too close, actually. Actually, I'm missing a KO count somewhere. I am missing a KO count, so I'll have to go back and watch that. But anyways, Mega Metagross definitely pulling in clutch for me right there. So it wasn't a mistake, actually, to heal up. Uh, should I explode on this thing for style points? Because I really don't want to miss the Zen Headbutt. I really don't want to miss Zen Headbutt, so... But does Explosion kill? I'm, I'm going to calc this real quickly because I'm scared. Alright, so Explosion doesn't kill, but neither does Zen Headbutt, so... Um, do I want to risk the Zen Headbutt? That's the thing. I don't want to risk it because I'm going to die anyways. I am going to die anyways to uh, a hit because if he's defensive like I think he is because he has the um, aromatherapy, uh, I need damage off on this thing. So uh, I did... I'm not sure if that was a high... If he's defensive or not... Then uh, I got, definitely got a high roll there, but if it's not, then uh, it was a, it was the roll didn't really matter. So whew, that is going to be the narrow 1-0 victory in my favor. So I do apologize for the extremely long battle that was a uh, 34 minutes in length. So uh, thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoy the GBA, and I will definitely come back and post these weekly. They will be uh, listed, and they will all be accompanied with the uh, beginning of the team analysis of uh, my strategy. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye.